Hi there! Today I'm going to be painting a portrait inspired by the ethereal and otherworldly saltwater landscapes. For this piece, I did my underpainting with phthalo blue to establish cool tones for the skin. Now, I'm not really sure if I'm going to continue using blue underpaintings moving forward because phthalo blue is really saturated and at some points it tended to mix with the colors I was laying on top of it. So for example, if I painted a really dull yellow for the skin, um, it would turn out kind of green because parts of the blue was showing up underneath. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure if I'm going to stick with this, but you know, that's the beauty of painting is you experiment and you learn with each piece. Also, I got a fancy new microphone, so um, you'll probably notice the audio quality of my voiceovers has significantly improved and I no longer sound really weird and janky, so I'll definitely be more of a chatterbox from now on. When I'm painting, I generally like to devote all of my initial attention to working on the face until it's nearly complete, before I even touch the rest of the piece. Each artist has their own habits. I know a ton of people who will develop every part of the painting simultaneously and adjust things as all the pieces evolve together to create harmony and balance. Whereas I finish the face first, and then I use it as sort of a visual anchor to build the rest of the world around it. I apply the same philosophy with the eyes. I always start painting the eyes first because eyes are the central focal point and often the most important and emotional element of my paintings. Because I start with the focal point first, I can then fine tune everything else around it to guide the viewer's attention towards that focal point. I wasn't originally planning on adding a little fishy friend for her, but when I looked over at my clownfish swimming around so merrily in his tank, I just couldn't help myself. I had to include him in this piece. It ended up working out pretty well because I think the orange of the clownfish really helps complement the overwhelming blueness of the rest of the piece. And of course, my favorite part of the painting process is signing my name. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this painting. I hope you guys found it fun and inspirational. If you like the painting, please thumbs up and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!